Born to be great, born to die, afraid to be great, afraid to die. So why not whack both moths and toast the stars? Why not whack both moles and cajole the tides and roar the oars before we ride on at seventy-five and crash our fast cars into prepared graves? Old boned, old people, that bright-eyed children can make plans for the moon out of cool breeze windows over flat-roofed temples or sharp-pointed steeples. We live in jagged times, but that's no excuse to demand that all stories be only degenerate musings and cries about ill luck and shock, treatment of professional readers, bleak and bemused audiences. Everything dies, becomes nauseous and cautious, far from its prime and its time. The memory fades, and what it took for its own past, for us and its time, looks to be mistaken, and what it hoped for its offspring, for us, looks to be a vagrant's hope, or a foredoomed climb, groping idly for what was not to be. Not our hopes. We don't hold so fast to our father's ropes, like tradition, like vines, gloomy, fastened up through institution slopes, from roots, but we make our own dreams of the night, roomy. Where the day, and when our own dreams crash bright, briefly, and yield their opaque smoke, we fade as ghosts, and say, hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray, dreamers of the night and dreamers of the day, hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray.